Brianna Freeman is smart, she's poised, she's confident, she's a good shooter, but she's really a ferocious rebounder, really good at boxing people out. She's a very smart player. It's fun to watch her play because she is so smart. She has a very positive attitude, very driven. It's not, I am anticipating graduating, it's I will graduate. My name is Brianna Freeman. I'm a forward at New Mexico State, and I'm an engineering major. On the baseline, Davis to Freeman, wide open, lays it in with two seconds left to go. Freeman spins and lays it in. Nice move. Me choosing electrical engineering was based on the fact that you need electricity, like you need electrical engineers. They could work in many different fields and that's why I chose to be an electrical engineer. Electrical engineering is a very challenging degree. We have many students who take between four and a half and five years to complete the degree. To have someone do it in four is unique. To someone do it in four who's a student athlete is a super big accomplishment. I guess it really hits home when I meet with like the dean or like Dr. Stohai, my advisor, or the provost, and they're like, whoa, Brianna, like you're doing this and you're doing that, and I'm just like, it's not a big deal, like can't everybody do this? Well, it's, it, you know, anybody who gets above a 3.0 with an electrical engineering major is doing well, and of course she's substantially above a 3.0. The fact that she is able to maintain that kind of GPA while she's traveling, while she's competing, um, is remarkable. It just shows just how determined she is. Brianna is easily in the top 20 percent of her class in electrical and computer engineering and, and that's a real accomplishment. The rigor of our program is very very high and to be able to balance that with athletics is truly exceptional. I'm not sure if the classroom has helped me on the court or the court has helped me on the classroom. They're kind of they kind of go hand in hand with having to prepare like for quick turnarounds and like road swings and scouts and film and I guess it, it does, does go with studying and applying concepts you're learning and electrical engineering is very hands-on so I feel like basketball and the classroom actually do go hand in hand. She's got a great competitive spirit on the basketball court. She has a great competitive spirit I think in the classroom. I understand from talking with her that the work that and the discipline associated with playing basketball really does help her to do well in the classroom. She is the expert, world's expert at time management, right? And I think that applies to both the basketball and the training that it takes for there and her academic uh, uh, ventures. My biggest goal academically is to graduate <laughs> and get a job. I'm doing something that most people don't usually complete in four years and I can get it done in four. So right now I'm set on graduating in four years. Well, you know, it's special for anybody with an electrical engineering major. Um, uh, and, uh, and so we're just really, I couldn't be more proud of her that she's accomplished this in four years. I am really proud of two things. I'm proud of how the faculty at NMSU's College of Engineering have worked with athletics. I'm also uh, proud of the way athletics has worked with academics. They schedule their practices around Bray's lab schedule. I mean, this is really two parts of the university working together for the good of one student to make her a success in both the athletic endeavor and the academic endeavor. Five years from now, when I look back at New Mexico State, I will probably remember all of the bonds that I've created with my teammates, coaches, people in the classroom, professors, and the legacy that we're leaving behind as a team.